Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ruthie. I am a boy mama to two little boys, and I am a military wife. I'm a stay-at-home mom currently, um, and on my channel, you kind of get a mix of everything. You get day-in-the-life vlogs, you get grocery hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, thrift hauls, um, cleaning motivation videos, uh, what else do you get? I don't know. I'm a mix of everything on my channel. I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys a pretty good-sized Dollar Tree haul. Um, I got some items for Easter. I got some items for my son's birthday, which I was actually really surprised to see some of the stuff that they had at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I, yeah, like I said, Easter, some stuff for our birthday party, some random things too. Um, but I'm excited to share with you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. So this is like two trips worth of haul. Um, I did get Easter stuff one day and I got some more Easter stuff and some other stuff another day. Um, but I feel like what's going on in Dollar Tree, like what's taking so long? Um, I feel like my Dollar Trees, I went to two, two, three different ones to like see what I could find. Um, cause I'm even trying to film like, um, an Easter Dollar Tree shop with me type video and uh, it's seeming a little empty. I'm surprised because Typically, I feel like I already see the Easter stuff. I've seen some stuff, but they're taking a while. It's like empty shelves. Um, so, I don't know what's going on, but let's get into it. So, I'm going to start with this bag here. Um, I found these bunnies. This is like one of the first things I found were these bunnies. I think they're so cute. Um, yeah, I got these. Everything here is $1.25 because... It was after the change. Um, but I got these two bunnies. I thought they were stinking adorable. I like the white ones, but I have a lot of like um, beiges and brown tones in my home um, and like wicker. So I thought these would look really, really cute. Like they have sand on the bottom to help them stay up so they can actually sit perfectly like on a shelf wherever you put them. Um, but they are fluffy. I have seen some people DIY these with putting, oops, <laughs> putting like iron on on them or whatever um i just i'm gonna keep them as is i think they're adorable so i'm really excited for these i think they're really cute i think this was like a cute find. some of them you do have to look through them because some of them definitely have a lot of hot glue on them so just just be wary um some of them do have a lot of hot glue on them um but you can just like clean them off but next thing i found actually wait what why is this in here so next thing I actually got was for my oldest, my almost four-year-old. He has recently found the fascination of gum, and he loves gum. Um, we don't let him have gum too much, but what do we do? We're like, trying to... He isn't allowed to eat gum whenever he wants. Like, we have to watch him, and he knows to chew, don't swallow. Uh, he's pretty good with not taking it out of his mouth too much, or he knows not to put it anywhere. It's not, it doesn't belong. So I got him this for Easter. Um, it's the bubble, bu uh, sorry, the double bubble um, egg shaped bubble gum. I remember these as a kid. I used to love these, so I think he'll enjoy these. I have to make sure I monitor how many he puts in his mouth and he doesn't put like a bunch at once, but I thought these would be fun. Next thing I found were for both my boys' Easter baskets were these uh, once Disney and once Nickelodeon inspired little like eggs. Um, this one is going to be for my youngest. He's into Mickey Mouse. Um, and it says there's candy inside. Um, I don't know what kind of candy. I don't know. And then I got the Paw Patrol one. So I got these. But they were cute. Um, so my oldest is obsessed with Ryan's World. If you know Ryan's World on YouTube, he's <laughs> killing it. Um, and he has like a bunch of toys and stuff. My son's obsessed with him. He watches him. Actually, both my boys watch him. But my oldest more so um, than my youngest. But I found this bath bomb actually at the Dollar Tree, and it, uh, it says Pocket Watch Ryan's Mystery Play Date, Surprise Inside, Mystery Splashers, Apple Scented Bath Bomb. Um, so, um, kids smell anything, but it's a Ryan World bath bomb, and my oldest is also obsessed with taking baths and loves bath bombs. Um, so I thought this would be fun to put into his Easter basket and the fact that it has like a little bit of a toy in there I think that's kind of cool, too. So I got that and then for my youngest again um, I got him a bath. I don't want him to feel like left out because whenever I buy one for one and not the other They get like jealous. So I try to keep it as fair as possible and equal uh, So I got this Mickey Mouse bath bomb for my other one um, there was actually only one of these at the Dollar Tree, or I would have gotten two of them, but there's only one. Um, so I got my youngest, the Mickey Mouse one. 
Um, it says there's a hidden color inside, so I think it'll be kind of cool if it's one color and it turns another color. So I got this one for my other one. They love bath bombs. They love bath paint. Anything along those, um, anything to play with inside the water in the, their bath or the shower, they're obsessed with. Next thing I found were these. I thought these were so cute. Um, it is cardstock. Um, I ended up getting two packs of them, um, but they come with three sheets, and it's in like a lilac, like a pastel, like green, and then a pink. And it just looks like this. So here are the colors. And again, I got two packs. And I thought this would be kind of cute. I'm actually thinking about making like some kind of Easter like garland type thing with like bunnies. So I thought this would be really cute. I have it in my head. I can picture it, but I don't know. And then to go off with that, I actually bought these little pom-poms. Um, it's 80 pieces. Um, it just looks like this for the little bunny tails because... If you kind of catch my drift, I'll probably end up like incorporating maybe this craft into like one of my day to life vlogs or something. But this is, I, I have it pictured in my head and I'm hoping it'll be really cute. I got this, it wasn't at the Dollar Tree, it was actually at Marshall's, but it's in this bag. Um, but it's Play Doh, it's Easter Spring Eggs uh, Play Doh, and it was $3.89. In case you're curious, super cute to add into the Easter baskets. Actually, at the Dollar Tree, so I paid $3.89 for these. They're egg shaped and they're for the Play Doh brand. But the Dollar Tree actually had these set of four for $1.25. And they are in pastel colors. So I did get these as well. Um, it's like a white, a yellow, blue, and a purple. And it just looks like this. Oh my goodness, I thought I'd just turn this off. So it looks like this, um, and it's a four pack, and these are really cute to add into the Easter basket as well. Um, I'm probably just gonna put both of them, but I thought the egg shape was really cute. That's what got me, but $3.89, $1.25. Um, my kids have been very good with about playing with Play-Doh lately. When we play with them, I actually put it in disposable, um, like aluminum tins, and they know keep it inside the tin, and they've actually been really good. My youngest sometimes will get it out of the tin, but he does really well too with it. Um, they've been playing with Play-Doh and slime more um, and they've been doing pretty good. So it's a great activity. It's really good for like their um, sensory skills and like stuff like that. So I got that. Um, next thing I got were these novelty pens. <gasps> the packaging got me. I don't know if they're gonna be good pens, but they look like this. Um, I'm obsessed with leopard print, cheetah print, any type of animal print like that I'm obsessed with. So I was excited for these. I want to see. They look so cute. Hmm. Well, they look pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. But they're really cute. I can always use more pins. So I got those. I actually got a lot of things for my son's birthday. So my oldest is about to be four in March. And he's obsessed with dinosaurs. If you know him, he's obsessed with dinos. He's been obsessed with dinosaurs for two years now. His second birthday party was a dinosaur theme. And now he wants another dinosaur birthday party. <laughs> um, I don't know. I tried persuading him for something else because he has other interests, but dinosaurs is just like the number one thing for him. Um, so we're doing like a blue dinosaur type theme. Um, he originally wanted like a triceratops, and I was like, there's he originally wanted like a blue triceratops theme and I was like, Bubba, there's like nothing out there. And so he was like, how about blue dinosaur birthday party? And so we're gonna do dinosaurs again. Um, for his second birthday though, I did a lot of green and like jungle dinosaur type thing. And then so this one I'm gonna do more like a lot of, incorporate a lot of blue in there and then just a mixture of dinosaurs. But I'm gonna try my best. I'm actually gonna get this huge triceratops balloon. So that way he at least has that. That's his favorite dinosaur. That's why he wants that. But so a lot of the stuff I did get from the Dollar Tree were actually for his birthday because they had a bunch of dinosaur themes um, for the birthday stuff. They have like a bunch of themes. They actually even have a unicorn theme right now, which I've never seen before. Super cute. Uh, but they actually had a really cute mixture of dinosaur stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got. Um, so I found this caution tape. It says Par T, uh, Par T Rex Zone. Keep out. And it looks like this. And this is what the banner looks like at the bottom. And I think this is super cute. I don't know really what I'm going to do with it. I think I may put it up my garland 
or I may incorporate this into the balloon arch that I ha I'm gonna make. Not have, I'm gonna make it. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe a little bit of mixture of both, I don't know. These, which I thought they were really cute. Um, it just looks like this, like this is the plate, this is the small one, and then this is the big one, and just is dynamite, and it just has a bunch of dinosaurs on there. And these, like three dino, uh, four dinosaurs, sorry, are, which I'm like upset, like they have a T-Rex, a Brachiosaurus, a Stegosaurus, and then like a Pteranodon or Pterodactyl, whatever, but they don't have a Triceratops on here, like, um, and I thought they were really cute. So we got these, and again, they have the blue, so I was like, perfect, because we're going to incorporate a lot more blue. I got those, and then I also got the um, napkins, and it says Warsome. Roar, 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 Warsome. Um, but I did get, uh, oh, where's the other one? Oh. Okay, I got two. Of the, this is a very small birthday party that I'm doing at my house. It's just gonna be my family for the cake. But I still like to decorate in the morning so that way his birthday he can feel special. So I got this one for when our house, and then I actually got this and this one for when he has cupcakes when he brings it to school for his birthday. So we did those. Um, so I got those. I thought they were really cute, so can't go wrong. Um, I found this candle set and it's his birthday boy and it's in blue and I thought it was really cute so it has like this and it has like the single candles on the side so I got that one I haven't seen that one before so pick that up I of course had to get a gold foil balloon um in the number four so we got that one I this is not birthday but I got these St. Patrick's Day necklaces um the two pack I think it'll be cute for my oldest to wear this to school or something on St. Patrick's Day um, so I got that for him. We don't decorate or celebrate St. Patrick's or anything like that, but just, just for fun. Um, I got some birthday cards. I actually got this one for his fourth birthday. It says, happy birthday, Partyosaurus. How cute. So stinking cute. So I got that. And then I got my husband and my mom birthday cards too, because all three of them have a birthday next to me. Um, the next thing I got was um, balloon arch strip. Um, this is what I use for my balloon arches. Um, they're reusable, but... I did have to throw out the ones from that I used for Asher's birthday, and then I had to throw out the one I used for um, the trunk or treat that I did. Um, so I didn't have any more, so I just got another one. Next thing I got were actually these um, cookies. I don't know why, but I saw this girl, Alyssa Rose, talking about it on YouTube. And she was talking about it on YouTube, and she saw her mom got it at the Dollar Tree, and she said they were so good. So I was like, mm, let me try them. So I bought them. They're good. They're definitely have, like, that buttery taste. Um, I feel like it would be, like, really good with, like, coffee or something. Um, they're not, like, uh, too sweet, but they're not. They're, like, buttery, so they kind of remind me of, like, a Portuguese, like, biscuit. Next thing I got, I thought they were so cute. Look again. Going off that, like, again, going off that dinosaur theme, like, they actually had a lot. So, I found this, and it's a Stegosaurus, and it's blue, and it looks like this. But I thought it was really cute. My son's going to freak out um, when he sees that. So, I got that one. And then I also got the Brachiosaurus in orange, and it looks like this. And again, it's just kind of playing off of the theme that's on here, which I think is really cute. So hopefully he likes it. And then I also got, oh, did I not get the T-Rex? I thought I got the T-Rex too, but I guess I got only those two. Um, next I got this mall, wall mural, um, and it's the same theme. And I thought this would be really cute. I'm probably gonna put this like on the backdrop of his birthday, like on the wall. So got this. I think he'll like it, so got that. Um, I got this. I don't know why I got this, but I don't know why I got these. But my son saw it and he like was freaking out. And then I couldn't pass up the fact that it was it was Dunkaroos, so I got them. Um, I kind of want to try one. Oh my god, the bag is like completely full. Usually, like I feel like bags are full of air. This bag is like like full. Um, Mmm. Mmm. It's actually really good. 
So, they kind of taste like vanilla-y and marshmallow, but I'm not gonna lie. I know it's not healthy, but lately at night, me and my husband, like when the kids go to sleep, we like have our own time, right? So like my husband will play Xbox and I'll like watch a show or something. And we always like, oh, I can go for a bowl of cereal right now. And that's like I'm in our guilty pleasure right now. And it's not great for you, I know. But I feel like this at night will be so good. So we got these. These are good. Um, definitely worth $1.25. And it kind of brings back like, you know, some nostalgia. So next thing I got were some pregnancy tests. Um, I always get pregnancy tests when I go to the Dollar Tree. Um, even though I have an IUD, I still, like, I'm always hopeful for another failed IUD pregnancy. So, <laughs> I'm always, like, freaking out. I always have, like, weird symptoms. I'm like, ooh, am I pregnant? And then I take a test and I'm not. But they're really good to have. Um, I found out with both of my baby boys that I was pregnant through a Dollar Tree um, pregnancy test. So, I recommend. Next thing I got were actually just some um, freezer bags. I don't know. I needed some, so I just grabbed it. I should grab a big one, but this is just gonna hold me over until I can get them. But you get 10 for $1.25, not terrible. So, got those. So, new find. I found these really pretty pink vinyl at the Dollar Tree from Crofter Square. Um, hello. I wanted to buy more, but I was like, let me not because there's only a few of the pink. Um, they had a really pretty pink, they had a really pretty turquoise, kind of like this color teal. Um, really beautiful. Um, I didn't grab it because I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I think the pink is going to look so beautiful on anything. I love bubblegum pink, one of my favorite colors. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I wanted it just to have it, so I picked it up. I personally like the Dollar Tree vinyl. I know some people haven't had great success with it. I think you just have to be really careful with it, and you have to do light pressure when you're cutting your vinyl. That's what I found for me has worked best with any of the black vinyl, um, any of the Dollar Tree vinyl, sorry. Um, is that you have to do like the light pressure and it works fine. Um, so I love it. I can't wait to use this. And also, I put it on a bunch of items and I haven't had any issues with it like, coming off or anything like that. So keep that in mind. But I thought this color was so pretty. Like how beautiful is that? It's like a perfect bubblegum pink. But, so that is all I got Dollar Tree. I definitely thought I got more, but I don't. But that's okay. Um... I think it was just like a lot of bags. Yes, that is what I got the Dollar Tree. Um, I will keep you guys updated and posted if I find anything else. I'll do more Dollar Tree hauls. I want to do, like I said, an Easter shop with me at the Dollar Tree, but I just, there, there has not been a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just my Dollar Trees. My Dollar Trees kind of actually suck out here in New Mexico. Um, I miss my Dollar Trees like in Colorado and then also in like Rhode Island area, like New England. Um, out here is just not the best, but I mean, I still got some stuff. I still, I'm still browsing. I always browse, okay? Um, but you can't go wrong for a dollar twenty-five, even though it's a dollar twenty-five now, not a dollar. Some things aren't worth it anymore. I went to Target the other day to Target Dollar Spot and got a bunch of dollar items for like my boys' Easter baskets. It's worth it. Like get the bubbles at the dollar spot now. Get the paint at the dollar spot now, um, just because it's still a dollar and you're saving twenty-five cents. But if you're at the Dollar Tree. I think it's still a dollar twenty-five, still fine. So that is what I got at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm talking really fast. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, subscribe, watch some other videos, stay around, be part of the fam, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.